that helps a little bit. Thank you. Thankfully, I don't think I need to play that part. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably da change after this. Oh shit! We do have to play that part. No, why? This is cruel. We didn't sign up for this. I'm quitting my job right after this one. Oh, wait, 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 what the hell? Huh, deja vu. Is that a Matrix reference? Well, we are trying to change other people's reality, so Matrix is not a hard thing to reference here. Goodness gracious. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. At least to make its odor controllable. Okay, let's bring it. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. There are bathrooms inside. Two of them, actually. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Received valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Received contained roadkill odor. Ugh. Damn. Something's gonna happen on the way back. This seems way too quiet. It's like there's no music. And Nail was acting suspicious. Oh, hey! Did you get a roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I uh I gotta, gotta go feed my digital pet. What? Yeah! Do that, I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. We got some... We got someone dying back there. What the potato is he up to? I've no time to check on him now. I really want to go follow him. And he just jumped off that cliff to, to get back to the car. Would I always do that? I wonder if he ha received any special instructions from the HQ. So when we get to that exact point, I will, set the I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about 3 seconds. Certainly. And everyone's gonna suffer for it. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the ger germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered? Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Lux, the last thing we need. Okay, we're in there again. We're gonna get some answers. Act 
dream. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. I already forgot what Act One and Two said. I I'm guessing maybe when brought together they mean something. Okay, so this member is gonna be more important this time. Let's go. Oh, I just gonna. To think that this little thing is causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send a signal and hope. Well, ready? Yeah. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? We're in cold red. Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over from me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Oh no, we're on a serious timer. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out! What? Get out of his memory now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've gotta be kidding. Why aren't you getting out there? I can't, Nail. If both of us get out under the state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freak. Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This isn't a movie and you're no hero, you're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here! Screw that! If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill! <laughs> Damn it, Nail. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Oh, these two. Oh, he brought it. He must have fed it herbs! Doctor? I think we're okay for now. Oh, they're still bickering. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah! And at the last Christmas party, you... Oh, come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Y you two are adorable together, let's just kick the ball or something. Here goes nothing. Oh, we're crossing a barrier. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Nail did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Was there? Never mind, I just hope I'm wrong. Was there anything in his room? I just... I didn't notice. Oh, the music is kind of creeping me out. Uh, what's 
going on here? Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? We've got to take them there one day. That's mom talking to. Who exactly? That's little Johnny talking to someone. Sheesh, the time overlap is getting out of hand. Look at how many of him are there. It's like a zoo. Mm -hmm. And this little Johnny is just wandering around. Huh, he looks like the boss moving around on his own. He's just chasing it. Yeah, he, he's breaking. Oh, a piece of roadkill right here. All thanks to this little fella sacrifice, I hope. Oh jeez, look at the time. I'd better get going, the store closes early today. Oh, take care Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. To the boys? I will. I see you around. Does that mean Johnny and Nicholas? And who is that guy? I assume it's a guy. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be Shit, duh! We need to go back now! Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! Okay, I'm losing it. Holy shit! Does he have a twin brother? Because earlier he said say hello to the boys for me. Did they do something to his memory so he could forget his dead brother? I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Oops. That was supposed to be... I'm just gonna edit this part out. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Nail? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Oh. Shit. Joey? Can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake- Oh my god, I can't even-
that's pretty dark. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers to erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called it Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Oh wow, this is just. Seems like this wasn't the only memory I linked. Odd. It's not putting up. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Did their mother just force herself to remember that she had only one son? Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning to animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Eh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they gotta turn into a tigers, the more big bad aliens. They're all like ra 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 ra, and then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew 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 pew. Okay, you get the idea. Stop that. Hehe. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and me and you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids? The parents will have to pay, of course. That's good thinking. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What? You're still mad about the other day? Oh come on! I caught first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away to a hobo. Look, it's not just about that day. You know, Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas and last Easter and the time we went fishing? And okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, you should just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oh, let's go confuse the neighbors. That's a cool twin game to play. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on. I want to play with the train. So Animorphs is really Joey's thing. That's why Johnny never developed a real interest in it. And the mother still gives, still gave Animorphs book for Johnny's wedding. She never quite was able to tell the difference between them. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall I look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quick, ladder and go already. Oh, you will do. Uh, what is this thing? 
So how much younger are we? <laughs> wow, there he is. Fruits! Fresh fruits! Apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits. They can be. Uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never even refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. Tomatoes are totally fruits, right? But I don't want this stupid toy. I want a train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your price for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. No, no, John. Don't make a scene. Joey wanted fair and square, didn't he? But I wanted too. He just went first. Hey, it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come on, let's go see what's over here. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm gonna call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Those teddies look pretty cool. Too. Hey, is that guacamole? Waka what? Guacamole. You take you take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. That's how people blew up steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty good. What you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Use me. Uh, yes, but use me. My mouse is a little slow here. I don't know why. I hope it's not the case here. Oh, it's working perfectly. Give me. Oh, you little mouse. You are getting pummeled. Probably this part might be really easy to play if you're like using the number pad. Time's up. How do I do? Let's see now. Out of 46 total target appearances, you struck 53 times and made 40 successful hits. That's an 86% hit rate. It's your new record. Oh, that was actually one of the orbs. Wow, I didn't, I did not expect that. Ah, yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one, a doctor. Oh my! Come on, I'm getting both of your teeth. Wow, parents are so gullible. Just lawyer. Doctor! We both have bright futures. Now buy my stuff. That'll be $80. Thank you. Hey, where's my tip? Oh, fortune tell you actually want a tip? Uh, no way. I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. Requires three bars of memory links to the seed. So they must have one other activity that I need to unlock. It's not a slide. It's probably the Ferris wheel. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Oh, that actually is what we were looking for. Or maybe that's not all. Maybe there were just options. Uh, no, I think that was all.
here. Acquire. They're eating here. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Oh, Joe is the one who likes his pickled olive. Let's try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah! I guess he did like it. Wow. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave the bag. Keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. Pickled olives. Let's see here. They're Joey's favorite. It seems like after Joey died, some of those influences just stuck with Johnny even more, even though he doesn't remember. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Wait, is this the... Well, that's pretty nimble. Wow! Okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, it could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing and everything every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at, the same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly, he just carried a telescope for me. Of course. The thing was though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid a telescope inside a car. It's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like it actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. My caffeine addiction. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame though. All these nice memories lost and I never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it a moment for a moment, right? Mm hmm So... Oh shit, I told you, packs of tigers dwell here! Well, it's not like you're in any danger. Oh, it's River! We haven't seen her in a while. 
That's actually their earliest. The first time we saw her. Hello? Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? There are so many lights in the sky. Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? Say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's name is John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Um, oh, he's... He doesn't like being... Seen as a common. That reminds me of Voldemort, actually. His real name is Tom Riddle, and he hates being called Tom because everyone's called Tom. What's wrong with having a name that everyone else has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. George, she does uh, desire some connection. Like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. And I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are, anyways? We finally see a little bit of moon. I've been waiting for it. The dead said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do, make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Yeah, kangaroos totally admit it. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, oh, for other things. Never try to wrap it though. That's what making a rabbit is about. You wanna make one? Yeah! We'll make the fastest constellation ever! Let's see who makes out. Let's see who makes one out first. Oh, that's the making of that. Bunnies are about, but Johnny doesn't remember this part. Okay, we're starting three. Three, two, one, and a start. I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Uh, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. The moon, right? Tell me what you see. There, right? There are the two ears and that one head. What else? And there. There's his two feet. Yes, what else? And... and the moon. The moon is his big round belly. Huh. That 
That's cute. I'd already see a bunny then. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I. I've never told anyone, but. I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them, but they can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the price of one from Wacomol. Did you get to play the game? Weird dog, beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Oh, that's why he doesn't have it anymore. Johnny, eek! That's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine. Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time. Yes. What if you forget, or what if you forget, or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny, coming. Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Holy shit! This this encounter just defined her whole life. But Johnny does remember. Does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was gonna be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a che cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Nail. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva! Wait, Eva. What are they gonna do? 